En las últimas horas desde Israel se, eh, se reunió a muchos corresponsales extranjeros y se les mostraron algunos de los videos de las cámaras de seguridad, de las cámaras no de seguridad, las cámaras que los terroristas del Hamas tenían en el momento en que entraron a diferentes lugares de Israel, diferentes kibbutz. Algunos de los periodistas, algunos periodistas argentinos están relatando lo que les invitaron a ver, imágenes que en principio nunca se harán públicas por lo, por lo tremendas de las imágenes, por lo explícita de las imágenes, pero el gobierno busca mostrarle a la prensa internacional muchas de las cosas que quizás no salgan a la luz. Lo que nosotros vamos a compartir ahora es la imagen y también toda una secuencia y el relato de uno de los sobrevivientes de uno de los ataques más sangrientos eh, contra Israel en el momento que el Hamas entra a territorio israelí. ¿Se acuerdan? Fue en esa fiesta que duró hasta la madrugada, donde muchos jóvenes no se dieron cuenta hasta que fue tarde que lo que pasaba en el cielo no eran fuegos artificiales, sino que era un ataque por parte del Hamas. Toda una secuencia también, gracias al testimonio de algunos sobrevivientes y de imágenes que se empiezan a recopilar de lo que fue el ataque en la fiesta ese sábado por la mañana. It was magical. You know, I've been to festivals in Israel. This was a big one. It's a known one. There was a lot of, you know, beautiful people, great vibes. We're going to rave. We started dancing and everything was perfect and I was happy, surrounded by people I love. It was like the sunrise. Everyone was just, you know, jumping and having fun. I started seeing things in the sky and not understanding what's happening around. We live in Israel. Rockets are not an abnormal thing. We thought when the rockets began that we could take our time packing up. I thought I heard gunfire in the background, really faint, really far, really fast. And I've never heard a gunfire before, but I could feel it inside me that that was not anything other than a gun. We should go, because I don't think it's continuing. The festival. It's, it's done. Even if the rockets stop, they're not going to continue again. It's, it's, the part is over. But I'm just saying, like, there's no reason, because the festival is not continuing after this. So maybe we might as well just start packing up. Shai, you're driving? I'm absolutely okay to drive. You're good? You need water or something? No, yeah, no, we're we good. Water. Yes, no, no, cool. we're Thank good. you very much. That drove us off the road into a ditch up the hill. But by that point, there was gunfire right around us within feet. And my cousin's girlfriend, she screamed for us to get out and get down. And I ran 50 meters into the field with a friend and my cousin's girlfriend and her friend were 10 meters behind us. And my cousin ran back to the car towards the gunfire and he grabbed the car and he drove it towards us and picked us up. We drove in circles in the field for a while. We didn't know where to go. But many people just fled into the woods and hid. I think if Mori, I think if we can't drive anywhere, we should go out into the bush. Three of my friends, they got separated from us, and they hid in the forest for almost seven hours. And they told me Hamas was close enough they could hear them talking and laughing, laughing about killing kids. You hear the bullets, you saw left and right, and you see people go down. And you just want to, to survive. Well, after a few minutes, we understand that you have terrorists in a, another place, and another place, and uh, everywhere. I think that was the moment when I understand that maybe it's the end, and maybe, maybe we're gonna die here. <laughs> it's 
it felt like in the in my next step they're gonna shoot me we were around like 300 400 cars in one column and we're hearing the bullets right it's, you have to understand the whole time there's bombs bullets you know people are in chaos there was panic you know it was rising and then we just see uh, around a thousand people just run you know in chaos when we decide, you know, to ditch the car and just run for our lives. We run away from uh, another place to other place. Every time shooting us, no matter what, when you're going, uh, shoot, shooting us. And we don't, we don't know from where. And we don't know where to run. The moment we started to run, it felt like we're ducks. Plain and simple. And I think the feelings of all of us were like, we can't believe this is... It was from party to this after like one hour. We were like, where is the army? Where is the police? What, you know, the is going on here? Yes, they're inspecting, they're inspecting. Stop, 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 stop. Where is Tel Aviv? Tel Aviv! Oh, it's a checkpoint. Achim, take a fucking picture I am of everything. Over the median. My cousin sped through it all. And he was on acid the whole time, so we were navigating him. We were telling him when to slow down, when there was bodies, pointing things out, cars coming, people, checkpoint maybe, soldiers, turn here, turn there, speed up, don't slow down, time, non-stop, don't slow down, don't slow down, don't slow down, don't slow down. speed up. Go, go, go. We're good. We're okay. Hunting people. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh my God. Go, go, go. Head down. Hey, slide back down in your seats. Yeah, Tuck your heads you down. down. Tuck your heads down. Tuck your heads down. All of you down, guys. Yeah. Down, down, down. Oh my god, there's a No, he saw a body on the ground. Down, down, down. Down. Head between your legs. Fast, 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 fast. Foot, don't stop. Foot, foot, stop. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. We broke by two men with machine guns. They were wearing balaclavas and we were driving so fast we didn't get a good look at them. We didn't want to slow down. I think they were special forces. My cousin, Hamas, neither of us know. No, no, no. You're doing good, Monica. Very good. drive there was an hour our drive back was nearly two and a half to three hours i just found out somebody that i was looking for has passed away they died they were killed that's sorry and i i remember looking at him he was sitting in a hammock relaxed and i saw his face i just felt absolute terror I couldn't understand why he was so relaxed. 
So I just post it all on social media and I just tell everybody I can to share it. I want to help as many people yeah. as I can because I have the most recent photos of some of these people's last moments. The last time they were smiling and the last time they were having fun. And it was met with a bloody murder.